played him in the past. I, I played him like two or three times before, and I kind of like Molly walked him in the past. But like today we played, and it was like it was actually pretty close. It was still three one, but he had me uh, give me run for my money. All right, so we're uh, starting after they, they pounded, so it looks like they're gonna go ahead and start up. Uh, eBay is really good at reaction tech chases, so and like he's really annoying to beat in neutral. We'll see how uh, Fat Goku does it. And, like, like right there, like that awareness spacing that uh, eBay got was really, really nice. But uh, Fat Goku's gonna have a bit of punishing. Gets the up tilt. Gets. Oh, I was about to say he got the reaction. That was so nice. Yeah, dude, he's he, like I was saying, he stepped it up from the last time I played him. Definitely. Like he's just playing not as uh, not as silly. Like he's he's picking his spots way better. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so too. But uh, we'll see what um, eBay can clutch out. You know, I find it interesting that he picked the stage because he started on this stage against me as well. And this is generally like people say Falcon's worst stage other than the Fountain. Uh, yeah, and, well, in this matchup rather, like Fox just gets so many auto combos at times. He can get a, a chain grab. He can just keep Falcon up in the air and get a uh, tech chase reaction. Um, you know, Fountain. I, I sorry, I think Fountain's what they say is the worst. But uh, I think this one's like a clear second, depending on the Falcon. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, I think it leads up to play style. Like, uh, you know, Wizrope, for example, I would not want to play Wizrope here because his tech chase is so good. And uh, I made that mistake, and we get a fat combo from eBay. Good stuff. eBay taking the lead now. All right, so we get a bit of a reaction. Gets the knee, but uh, doesn't get anything else out of it, but still has a lot of momentum. Let's see if a fat Goku can clean it up, and he does. Yeah. Yeah, nice little conversion. <laughs> a knee in neutral was kind of funny. But yeah, like, he, uh, eBay's just really good at getting out of pressure, I think, is what makes him, uh, or has made him a lot better in the, the recent past. Yeah, like, look at the way eBay rolls right out of that. Right there, too. Like, he recognizes, you know, this is a bad situation. I might get some damage for this roll, but if I stay at the edge, I'm going to die. Lose my stall. Yeah, like, even right there, like, he recognized, okay, uh, Steven wants to approach. How can I get out of this? Alright, conversion. Yeah. But, uh, you know, eBay's one knee away from cleaning this up. That's the thing about Falcon. Falcon, Ganon, you know, those heavy hitter characters. That's the real thing. It's just like one stalk, and you can potentially just come back easy. Well, I know Jump gonna have the sweet spot. See, yeah, if I could go could pick up on those uh, rolls a little bit more. But uh, I, I like the way eBay is using it. We'll see how it ends up adapting. Gets a nice edge guard too. That's pretty sick. His edge guarding is pretty on point, uh, from what I've seen at least earlier. But he's gonna need a, a pretty nice Johnny stock here if he wants to bring it back. And not quite dead yet. Yeah, way, really any love tap is gonna send him out. Yeah. All right, so yeah, it takes game one. We'll see where he ends up going. Uh, I imagine we're gonna go Battlefield or, you know, he picked Stadium against me. Maybe he likes Stadium a lot. But, I mean, Stadium is really good for Falcon, but I don't know. I wonder how uh, Dreamland is. He's going for Falcon. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Especially this year. It's, it's really been pushed. I feel like a lot of Falcon players think Falcon's the, the best stage. I'm sorry. <laughs> Battlefield. Battlefield's the uh, best Falcon stage. It's what I get a lot. You know, I think uh, like Jace is someone I play with a lot. And, and most Falcons I'm seeing just really like Battlefield and uh, Dreamland is generally what I see. Yep. Yeah, definitely so. Yeah, I think it's an easy stage for me, but I practice the stage. Um, but yeah, I see, you know, I see Stadium 2, and this is an okay pick. I think it's fine. Uh, SDJ loves the stage. So I can see, I can see why it's good. It's going to give you a lot of length. It's going to give you those couple platforms to at least get some up air juggles. Yeah.
yeah, I agree. Alright, yeah, I think the big thing right now, eBay's not really getting a lot of punishes. Um, he's not getting his grab conversions, he's not reacting as fast as I saw him do earlier. See if we can pick it up here. It's an up air and another knee. Nice. Nice stuff. This is always a scary situation too for Falcon. Not really sure where he should go. But just gonna eBay's just trying to wall him out. Um Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And uh yeah, Steven's really good at edge guarding Falcon. This is gonna be a stock right here. I'm not sure if Stadium was the best choice, to be honest. Like, it's good, but I, I feel like maybe even Dreamland against uh, a Spacey might be a better choice. At least the way eBay plays it. Nice. Right. Yeah, I agree. My, my, the reasoning behind it is that eBay plays with a lot of space. Um, so, you know, my, my mentality on it is like, well, if he's playing with a lot of space, why not just pick a bigger stage? It's going to give him that. It can be annoying because Fox can camp you, uh, make it difficult to, you know, get entries if he plays a strong defensive game. But, I mean, Stadium didn't seem like a, you know, much different of a choice anyway. Alright, so, uh, Thought Goku takes that pretty solidly on a 2 stock. Uh, potential 3-0 situation here. See what EBA can do to bring it back. I'm going to drink my coffee, dude. Yeah, going uh, right back to stadium. You know, maybe it's his preference stuff. Sometimes uh, you just gotta feel it out. Yep. Um, Fat Goku's getting some really good reads. So, like, he started off this match with a, uh, a nice running shine, but he really called out eBay's movement. He called out eBay's drift back and, uh, you know, called out the, the shine and got a nice combo. So he's doing uh, really good at reading his opponent right now. Like, let's see if we can see any more of them. Like, even that Nair, like, he ran under Falcon to get that. That was super sick. It is. Yep. Very true. Yeah, very, very, very true. Right, makes it, uh, it makes, really makes Falcon second guess their approach. Like, okay, am I being too obvious? Can I do this again? What can I do in this situation? Good choice with the, uh, the downer was kind of interesting. Um, see if, uh, eBay just needs a conversion, man. He's not getting anything. Like, that's, that's the main thing. Like, he's getting these grabs, he's getting his openings. Nice up here, by the way. He's getting his openings, but he's just really not getting anything off of it. That's the main thing. Uh, yeah, like Steven, once he gets his opening, he's getting a lot of percent. He's at least getting 30 to 40 percent. But uh, when eBay is getting his grab, he's getting, he's dropping it. He's getting 15 percent, which is okay. But the thing about punish game is like it doesn't matter sometimes how many times you win the neutral. If your opponent's punishing that much harder, then it really doesn't mean too much. But he gets a, a solid knee to uh, clean it up. Yeah. See if he can get something here. I right, trying to go for a couple grabs, get the uh, grab conversion. Yeah, I feel like eBay's the also, of course, on conversions like we're talking about. But as I was gonna say, he's not calling out uh, Goku's movements because he's uh, Steven's ending up full hopping a lot, and there's a couple positions where I feel like eBay can just wait a little bit and get the up air trade, or at least try to go for an aerial. And that could potentially be the match, but he gets the, the sweet spot there. I feel like he, yeah, I feel like he might have tried to shorten. That was kind of uncharacteristic. But doing much better than the last match, at least. I think the last one was like a solid two stock. But yeah, if you could pick it up. Yeah, I agree. But you see what I see right there? I'm seeing right there. Like, he gets 7%. He's not really picking it up on anything. And especially right there. Like, you drop the grab, you just eat up like 20%. Can I get it here? Nice. Good read. Alright, gets another read. Off smash? Is he gonna get anything off this? Ooh, almost. 
Yeah, I like Ebay's uh, adaptation by doing these uh, these short hops in place, and this could be stuck. No, and that's unfortunate. This could be the match, but uh, oh wow, a bit of a tricky recovery there. Oh my lord, this is so close. And he, like, oh my gosh, can he convert here? Gets the up air. Another up air. All right, edge guard situation here. Ebay really needs this now. He goes straight, but grabs the ledge. And gets the back air. Ebay cleaning it up 2-1 now. All right, I, I really like the adaptations he made. He did these uh, short hops in place to kind of bait out Fat Goku's movement, bait out a couple rolls of off dodges. So that was really, really smart. He's going to Fountain, which we just said was his worst stage. Uh, we'll see how eBay can play this. You know, I think it, it can be bad. I think historically the stage has been bad, but um, if Falcon plays it right with the platform, you know, down here does go through platform. There, there are a few tricks that Falcon can get through. Right. Is that a knee? Oh, almost. He misses it. And now, oh, I was going to say, if he lost his stock right there, that'd be so unfortunate. Still potentially might, but he gets back with a nice recovery. Uh, has Steven on the run, and he gets the backer to clip him out. So he can get out of this edge guard here, and he does. Converts with a knee. This is always a scary situation as Fox, because it's like, okay, I just won the first two, and now Falcon's starting to figure me out. Uh, what can I do different? And this is what we're talking about, momentum. How you can you, how can you make your opponent change the pace? Yeah, they figure it out. And you're like, hold on, I don't know how that happens. Yeah, it, it's 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 really something that can get in your head. So see how he uh, he deals with it. Like these things in neutral are so crazy to me, but they're working out. I like how eBay plays it. Right. All right, overcommitment by uh, eBay with that double jump. See if uh, Goat can convert. Still on the run. Nice, hop nice try there with the uh, the way dash out of shield. I respect it. Gonna grab. All right, gets another grab. See if he can do anything here. Oh gosh, the non shorten. It's so tricky. It's so tricky with Hawk sometimes. But I guess optimal for my uh, eBay would have just been a shield there. Grabs the ledge. See if it can be uh, tricky to get back. And that was smart. Just uh, taking a little bit of space from the stage, but he calls him out with the up smash out of shield. Yeah. Right. Right. I'm gonna react to what you're doing. Yeah, it's really smart. Alright, bit of a lead for uh, Goku now. Ooh, a little bit late on the down air. Let's see if he gets the knee here, and he does. Yeah, good stuff. I thought he was going to go for a down air again, but uh, good good awareness just to go for the knee. Clean it up. This match has really evolved. If you notice from like the first two games, I feel like it was uh, I felt like, I felt like it was Goku set clean. But now it's really starting to evolve, starting to uh, look like eBay really does have a chance here. We're going to a fifth match. We are going to a fifth match, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, this is super sick. Like I said, initially, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to be commentated by us. But I thought it was going to be a, a solid 3 0 from Fat Goku. But now uh, eBay kind of evolved the game. Looking really, really clean on his baits. He's playing it way better. Um, and it, you know, like we're saying, you know, you take me to Fountain, I practice this stage. Although uh, Fat Goku did tell me he thinks his favorite stage is Fountain. Um, so good to see him go back, you know, stick to his guts, gut instinct. We'll see what he, uh, he can flush out this time around. A little bit of blood work from Fat Goku there with his grabs. And again, this match really matters. Like, this is for the sponsorship. This is for that uh, that free national flight. That's going to be, uh, first off, pretty quick. You know, thir was that, 23 seconds to the match by uh, Steven. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like game five is, uh, oh my gosh. 
A lot of the time you either see someone choke or someone turn it up really hard. But this is Yeah, of course. And it, but this is like dead even right now. So you get a reaction. Alright, he does he's calling him out on the ticket place. I'm gonna whisper that someone hear me. But uh yeah, he's calling him out really hard for that. It's really, really good stuff by eBay. Oh, but nice punish. That was a fatty punish by Fat Goku. Yeah, I mean, I, we've noticed the same habit. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we never want to see that. Yeah, definitely so. I'm not going to be uh, pessimistic, but... Well, I'll just say we can see what uh, he can bring out to the table here. This is a, this is a big moment. All right, grab. He needs to convert here. In fact, we could finally rolling away, recognizing perhaps that uh, maybe he was getting called out for that taking place a lot. Quick stuff. Oh, I, th I think he read the spot dodge, too. That was, uh, that was a potential stock there. Yeah, I feel like none of these side beats have really been working. And uh, this is probably going to be Fat Goku's game here. Andy takes it. Three-stock game five. Good stuff to Fat Goku. Uh, guys, I'm going to use the restroom, and I'll be back. I'm going to play uh, Fat Goku next up in Luigi's Finals. Congrats to Fat Goku for the sponsorship, by the way, for that uh, free flight to a national. That's really good stuff. Of course, dude. Um, depending on how I do, if I lose, I'll be back. If I win, then you'll see me in finals. But uh, I'm going to use the bathroom. Give me like two minutes, I'll be on. Oh no, I was muted the entire time. Great.